Hey guys, this is Snapshot here. Uh, continue my little get the season maintenance. Uh, one thing I didn't know much about, uh, that's the hot water tank on the uh, RV. Uh, one thing you should do on a regular basis is change the nano rods. I think that's how you pronounce it. These are rods that are inside the your hot water tank and what they does to help maintain your tank. It takes the corrosion and stuff. Instead of eating the tank, you eat up the rods. But periodically, you should check these and change them. This is, I'm going to show you what a new rod is. And then I'm going to show you how to open look. This is a brand new rod. You see it here? It has a little nut. Okay. And this is a real used old rod. You see the difference? And I'm going to show you where it goes at. Okay. It's real easy to change. You can do it at the end of the season when you winterize your RV or the beginning of the season. But it should be changed at least once a year. If you use your RV a lot, maybe every six months or so. They're not that expensive. I think I paid about maybe 14 bucks for two or something like that. So stay tuned. This is the back of the hot water tank. All you do is remove the cover. And that's your hot water tank. Right here is where the rod's gonna go. And what I did, it was full of some of the, uh, I don't know what you call it, put dirt and stuff. So I took a little brush here and just cleaned up the threads before I put the new rod in. Real easy. You can get these brushes, they're real good for different things like that. You can get them from Harbor Freight. Take you some Teflon tape, put on the end. Uh, the rods that I came with was a two pack and it also came with the uh, Teflon tape. But if not, you can buy some. And you just insert it, so you can see. You know, to make sure you don't cross thread it or nothing. Okay, it's hard to do with one hand. So let me get back with you. Like I say, you make sure you don't cross thread it. Get your little ratchet and wrench with a little extension on it. Where you have the room. And you just put it in. You ain't got to tie it down real tight, but make sure it's snug and don't leak. Like I said, this is a maintenance you should do if you use your RV a lot. Once every six months. Uh, but <clears throat> you know, weekend warriors, uh, maybe we can get away with once a year. But every once in a while, just pull it and check it. Make sure you don't pull this thing out. You got hot water in this tank because it will scold you. So make sure the tank is empty. You actually have a valve probably under your tank to drain it. So you be careful when you do stuff like this. Take your time and think about it. This is Snapshot Out.